Jose Alberto Ramirez and his partner are some of the 180 people that the Red Cross is now helping after their building at 1915 Billingsley Terrace partially collapsed earlier this week. They've been staying at a hotel provided by the Red Cross. On Friday, they collected their belongings from their apartment. With no family in New York after Monday, he says they'll have to get a place of their own. The couple is frustrated by what's happened. And now, the city is revealing new details about the collapse. It says back in June, a New York State licensed professional engineer incorrectly labeled the building's load-bearing corner column as decorative. On Monday, when work was being done on the building, the city says that fundamental mistake may have contributed to the collapse. In a statement, the mayor said in part, quote, when those who are entrusted to keep us safe cut corners and make catastrophic mistakes, we're going to take swift action and hold them accountable. Congressman Richie Torres, who represents the Bronx, agrees. The fact that a licensed engineer would misdiagnose a structural column as decorative is a staggering act of incompetence for which he should be held accountable. The Department of Building says it is now reviewing more than 350 recent filings by the engineer. It adds with 1.1 million buildings in the city, but just over 540 building inspectors, the city must be able to rely on design professionals to do their jobs. Representative Torres is now partnering with Representative Adriano Espea on legislation to improve building safety. One is one too many, and it's, and it's so catastrophic that there are people who have lost their homes. So the city has yet to release the name of the engineer in question, but it does say that the Department of Investigation, as well as the Office of the Bronx District Attorney, are all investigating this engineer's conduct.